I might sharp myself. Who knows how this day is gonna go? I got scammed Wait, by Radio Shack. Radio Shack in doesn't 2022. exist. Radio Shack doesn't exist, man. That's the whole premise of today's video. We went and found a whole bunch of uh, stores, which we can only describe as zombie tech. These are stores that used to be around, went out of business, and then have just revived themselves as really shitty oh. online retailers. So someone basically bought the name Radio Shack or something and have just used it to sell to poor Green Aunt Bertha, who still goes to RadioShack.com on her dial-up modem to order I got scammed CDs. by them. Not once, but twice. You have to explain to the children what Radio Shack is. <laughs> For those of you who don't know about the Shack, because that's what they were calling themselves when they died, they started in 1921 and they were part of the Tandy Company. So they were great for buying computers back in the day. Yeah. And then uh, as they evolved, you just you place to get your like little, little electronics. I bought a lot of them when they went out of business because as I've mentioned many times in the past, I was the assistant manager at a Radio Shack. Basically their whole sales pitch is that the only reason that your middle-aged dad hasn't bought crypto is because he wanted to buy it from a place where he used to buy batteries from. Also, Radio Shack is just like, they're just known for their weirdly horny tweets. So, what? Yeah, like that's what, what that's are you talking what about? doing now. We did get a couple things. A hat? Trucker hat? Okay. I'm gonna take that when we're done. Okay, all right. Nothing all right. like using a dead brand's logo to shamelessly make some dollars. Almost like we shamelessly ask you to subscribe and ring a ling the ding a ling button on this is so that you too can keep from being scanned by Radio Shack apparently. What the hell is that? This is a multi-charging mushroom. It's a remote control ocean wave projector nightlight, no mushrooms included, sadly. If you're familiar with the concept of drop shipping, this is a completely like unbranded random item that was clearly uh, bought from Shen Space Zen China. Here's the thing, audience, can you take a close look at Matt's face right now? <laughs> I haven't even opened the box and he's like about to burst. I sat down to record the video today and Matt goes, you might take my credit card away after this video. So that's the, the context that I'm going into here. I will tell you that this uh, instruction manual says patented product counterfeiting. So it's a counterfeit of a patented product or they're in the process of, or it's patented to keep counterfeiting. It's a little unclear. So I've got myself a big bowl of mushrooms. I mean, uh, lights. It's a projector night light. So it's got a bunch of LEDs. That I'm assuming it just kind of spins around and whatnot. How would you classify this as, I, I would say multi-charging and a mushroom. There's no charging. There's just a, a USB port to Because that is not what we ordered. Okay, what did you order? We ordered a multi-charging mushroom. And they just shipped you a random light and said, Yes. Suck it, nerd. So we found the actual multi-charging mushroom. So are you trying to tell me that you placed an order for an item, they sent you some random bullshit and said, thank you very much for your 1999, good sir. Yeah. That was $40. <laughs> <laughs> this wasn't even on Radio Shack's website. So what happened was you spent $40 on a mushroom from Radio Shack. They sent no. you this so plastic. Like are you trying to say it's almost as if you see a very enticing title and thumbnail on YouTube, click on it, and instead you see Matt talking about Radio Shack items for 17 minutes? Amazing. So how much did you spend on Amazon for a multi-charging mushroom? $24.95. So they charged you way more money for the wrong item. So we've got ourselves the multi-charging mushroom. Wait, how do you plug it in? Plug it into the back. Oh, okay. Do you not know how to use a mushroom, Matt? Oh, whoa. <laughs> That's actually, the mushroom is lit. Oh, that, that feels gross. We got frog noises to go with the mushroom. Okay, now this combo was a mere 60 something dollars. Not worth it. So in the frequently bought together oh, no. with the mushroom was... Uh... It's a remote controlled snake with lifelike motions. I'll open up the slithering snake. Uh... Oh wow, it's a snake. Do we need to give a warning to anyone who's afraid of reptiles? Ah! Cause uh, ah. I mean, it's a little lifelike. Ah, no, no. <laughs> you know, his mechanism is actually not bad though. But Radio Shack, oh, what gifts you have given to the world. We got one final item from Radio Shack. Did you get two of these? Okay, there's nothing in this box. I can confirm. Let me try this box. <laughs> I don't like this, Matt. I don't like this. <laughs> nothing in this box. We bought a 
$20 kids tablet. Okay. That they charged us $90 for. Okay. Twice. And both times. It says it was delivered, but it was not. <laughs> the first time we said, okay, you know, we're kind of going through a move right now. Maybe perchance it got sent to the old office. But then the second time. Wait, when you say the second time, I mean, you bought a $20 tablet. They charged you $90. It said showed up. So you bought another one? Yeah. Literally the only computer that Radio Check sells is this tablet. It's like a crappier version of a fire kit, like kid's tablet. And they scammed us not once, but twice. I guess it's on brand with their weirdly horny tweets because we definitely got fucked. <laughs> so, all right, moving on. Next up we have FYE, for your entertainment. Now technically FYE has not gone out of business, but they have massively shifted their focus and now basically exclusively sell Funko Pops. They actually expanded their online service okay. to do a whole bunch more, but let me give you a couple fun facts about FYE, for your entertainment. It started in 1993 in upstate New York, AKA Matland. Basically in 2016, they rebranded as just pop culture. Turns out if you're an elite gamer who doesn't compromise, FYE is the place for you. Oh no. Matt, how many of these are we taking a look at? You can buy these things drop shipped from anywhere for like 17 bucks on AliExpress and then everyone resells them and we keep buying them, Matt. All right, Hyper Gear Pro Gaming Series. We have like a graveyard of these cheap <laughs> keyboards. Down so many of them. Why does it smell like a garden hose? I will say, we, uh, it's actually got like some fake metal in here and it is like stupid heavy. Like this is like a proper heavy mouse. We also have a lovely fake Alienware logo. This entire room now smells like a, like a hose. As far as like membrane keyboards go, this might be the worst. The arrow keys also say WASD. That's not WASD, my friends. I guarantee that if I scratch at it, the laddering's coming off. Yeah, these are stickers. All right, let's, let me hear these headphones. Well, they are immediately some of the most uncomfortable things I've ever felt. Ow! Oh, they did not include an adapter. I did not see an adapter in the box. Cool, can't even use these. Man, I just love it. This video is so good. There's how, so how many much, great items. How much did we pay for? $39.99. Oh no, $47.99. Yeah. For your excruciatingly poor decision making. Maybe this ain't your your don't, speed. Don't, don't, don't put this on me, I don't want this. You, but you want that. A Bluetooth wireless gaming controller for Windows, Android, and iOS. All right, so we've got ourselves a little phone holder. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you just break it already? I found it. It does have an Android and iOS button. Um, it, it has a micro USB port on the back. I'm not gonna lie, I don't have any games on my phone right now because I'm on a uh, Pixel. Uh, yeah, you do. Because with the power of cloud gaming. This is like everything I hate in one video. <laughs> and it's not recognized. The controller is in controlling the interface of his phone. But not. But it's not passed through to the game. So it's like, it's a controller, but it's probably showing it more like a keyboard or something. Also, it stopped screen recording. I apparently can't screen record while it's doing. Could my disappointment get any lower? I think we're about to find out. How much was this controller? $19.99. Wow, great. what a that great works. experience. That Matt, works. Totally worth $20. Don't buy this ever. Sometimes after a long day. Yep. Of, of getting charged $90 twice for a $20 tablet and not receiving anything. Yeah, go ahead. You, you gotta wash the day off of you. You wanna vibe, but you also wanna relax because you deserve a spa shower day. Beer? Matt, do you shower beer? I've never showered beer, but I've been told that shower beers are the best beer. It's a juxtaposition. It's, it's you know, a cold beverage in a mm -hmm. hot environment. You know, when you're having a little shower karaoke or maybe the shower naps. So this is a shower holder for your beer that also has a Bluetooth speaker involved. Yeah. So it's got suction cups. So you slap this to the side of your shower. Mm -hmm. You've got a USB, a really crappy little port over your USBs so that water doesn't go directly into the thing. You've got a little speaker on the bottom and then it just holds a beer from Gabba Goods. Gabba Goods! <laughs> oh, do you hear that? Sounds like your bones when you wake up in the morning, man. Yeah. I'll put a Boss Coffee in there since I'm at work and clearly not drinking a, a cold one right now. Mmm. I was like trying to like drink, but I sniffed the crappy plastic. This is so bad. 
<laughs> so it's not funny to get the scammed, Matt. We've gotten painfully scammed. Here's what I'm really concerned about. You've got like 11 cue cards there. How many more things do we not have? Do you remember Comp USA? Oh no. This Staples competitor went by the wayside. They were liquidated and basically they were absorbed by Tiger Direct. The website is still kicking. Sure it is. So we went to go order. We had a whole cart full of stuff. Pretty much the same junk that we have in front of us. Yep. Keep in mind, this is an online only uh, store. We cannot accept online orders at this moment, but they let you get pretty far into the, the checkout process. Did they get you so far as to take your money? No, not that far. Okay, good. But they definitely took our credit card number. Don't worry, I've been monitoring the situation. The only egregious charges have been from Radio Shack. What a relief, Matt. It's hard to call this online retail retailer an online retailer if they're not taking orders online. I'm afraid of every word that comes out of your mouth from this point forward. The good news is, that's the end of the things that didn't show up. Oh boy! What did show up, Matt? I'm the sure really high quality, great items. I'm staying in my Radio Shack hat until something good shows up. Where was your favorite store growing up? Toys R Us. No, Toys R Us got disqualified from this list. Because it's back Because now. it is back. In Macy's, in Macy's, right? Yeah. Maybe we'll go back and do an in real life episode of This Is exclusively at Toys R Us. Subscribe, ring a link, the ding -a ling bell, because otherwise you'll miss more high quality content like this. This is a fellow's gel wrist rest. All of these things I should mention. No return policy. No return policy whatsoever. All right, all right, it's fine. Matt. Ugh. I don't like the way. Oh, ow, that's heavy. Ow, that's heavy. Yeah. You're right. All right. But look at this lovely polyester material. It really, just screams the '90s. It you feels know, fine. To you use. know what else screams the '90s? Apple computer being almost in bankruptcy. I don't remember what this is. All right, so we've got a keyboard, which is the Seal Shield. Keep, what, what, washable keyboard? Apparently it is, claims that it is dishwasher safe. It's medical grade. So when you got all that bio juice on your keyboard, you could just pop this bad oh, boy say, in Are the... there dishwashers in the hospital where they just toss the keyboards in? Yeah, of course. Okay. Third floor. I will say it actually doesn't feel terrible. Like it's, oh, never mind. Oh. <laughs> Oh, is that okay. Mr. Universe? Because he be flexing. All right, let me actually try to type on this. Actually, it's not terrible. That's not, that doesn't sound terrible. Well, obviously, it's a membrane keyboard. But it's a membrane keyboard that if you ever get dirty, you could just pop in the dishwasher and you're good to go tomorrow. So not only can you finally get a shower, but your keyboard can too. Are you self-reporting right now? No, I'm self I'm talking to you, Ricky. Your mom sent us some text messages. She would really appreciate it if you went and took a shower. What we have next is the gem of our collection. Wow, that's really saying something. The Joust. Is this a Jean Mouse? <laughs> <laughs> they partnered with Jenko Jeans to, to bring you the Joust. It's the iMouse S80 wireless fabric mini mouse. What's wrong, babe? You've hardly, you've hardly clicked your Joust. Now we did not pay the extra $140 to get a distressed model. Ew, that, does, that doesn't feel good. That just feels bad. This feels exactly like denim. No, it does not. It's like the LaCroix of denim. I love how you keep calling things the LaCroix of stuff, but you drink the most LaCroix out of anyone in this office. Mm -hmm. There. I'm the LaCroix of YouTubers. Oh my God, Matt, there's the batteries in here. Oh. This is in fact the best item we've had today. It's uh, tiny, it's pretty pretty small. Uh, yeah, but it's got a uh, selectable DPI. So you can pick between slow, slow. Slower. And it's got the <laughs> those side buttons. The button literally goes inside the plastic shell. Like you can push it so far that like it actually is hidden. If you got your headphones, uh, just be prepared. Uh, I'm gonna give you a little ASMR here. Listen to what this sounds like. Like that's not denim. Like that's not. Here, stand up for a sec. We'll, we'll get you I touched his butt. It's not the same sound. Where do you think <laughs> we got all of these accoutrement, including the joust? NCIX. No, no. Circuit. Really? Motherfucking city. Fun fact about Circuit City, it is one of the best places currently online to get PC hardware. But like, subscribe, follow. Let us know what you think about all these zombie tech stores. What was your favorite item and why was it the joust? Like, follow, subscribe. 
I am going to personally file a complaint with Mr. Shaq. I want my money back. No one out Shaq's the Shaq. I'm going to call Shaq and have him fuck him up. Ah! No! No! <laughs> <laughs>